of the crisis rocking the Plateau State House of Assembly has been generating reactions from within and outside the state, especially regarding the impeachment of Etwal Speaker Nuhu Abuk. The majority leader and some members of the State House of Assembly insisted that the impeachment of Nuhu Abuk was constitutional. Briefing journalists in just the Plateau State Capitol, the majority leader of Plateau State, Nanlong Daniel, says the reasons for the impeachment of Abuk includes refusal to convey the House, dictatorial tendencies and gross incompetence, among others. Nasiru Saedu in this report tells us more. As the battle for the position of Plateau State Speaker House of Assembly continues to generate reactions after the impeachment of Nuhabok and Yakubu Sanda as the new speaker, this did not settle well as the development divided the House of Assembly. Majority leader Plateau State House of Assembly and some members of the House briefed journalists on their position regarding the impeachment of the former speaker. We want to put it on record that due process was followed in the impeachment of the former speaker, Right Honorable Abu Nuhu Ayuba, as provided in Section 92, Subsection 2C of the 1999 Constitution as amended, that 16 out of the 24 members signed a resolution for his impeachment. This was comply, this was comply, uh, comply with on the 28th of October, 2021. The public and members of, of the press should note that 17 members were present in the chamber at the sitting on that day, which is more than required number that form a quorum in any legislative business of a state assembly. It is baseless and misleading to say that only eight members signed for the impeachment of the former speaker has been spread around in the social media and mainstream media and by some individuals. The majority leader further explained what led to the impeachment of Abok Ayuba as the speaker. These are the reasons clearly stated why the former speaker was removed. The number one reason is first, refusal to reconvene the house. Gentlemen of the press, I am sure you are familiar with the working of the House of Assembly. You will recall that since August this year, the House was unable to meet to undertake its legislative business because the former speaker refused to reconvene the House because he was asked to render account of his financial activities in the House. Since then, he closed the House and refused to allow us to consider many crucial bills still pending. Because of his inability to reconvene the House for legislative business, bills, motion, matter of urgent public importance that could have helped the people of Plateau State has suffered a serious setback, which the new speaker, Right Honorable Sander, is determined to correct. The second is his dictatorial tendencies. The way and manner the former speaker runs the House was more or less like his personal business which stipulated as personal venture, taking unilateral decision as against the fund management law, which stipulated that principal officers and financial management committee need to take collective decision in regards to approval or any important decision and financial decision of the house. Three, gross incompetent. All this matter mentioned above on stood gross incompetent, high-handedness, and financial recklessness in the management of the House affairs which caused the former speaker his seat. The majority leader condemns the comments of some stakeholders and top politicians, both within and outside Plateau State, regarding the impeachment. We are calling the attention of Senator Jonathan David Jang, Senator I.D. Gang, House of Representatives just South just East, Musa Bogos, as well as the Lagos State House of Assembly, the former Senate President Bukola Saraki, and many others to always cross check their facts, as their action and comments are misleading and not a true reflection of what transpired on the floor of the House. Therefore, we call on them to get their facts clearly 
before diving into conclusion. As it is now, the crisis has put on hold activities by the lawmakers until the issue is resolved. Many are hoping that the two factions will resolve the matter and soon resume sitting. Nasru Saidu, Viva TV News, Joss.